Part of the things that we believe are an imminent threat is this idea of transhumanism that we, for some reason, have, you know, basically come to the pinnacle of what we could ever be as biological, spiritual beings, uh, and that now we need to be adjusted technologically or maybe even replaced. And I think, first of all, it's a fallacy to think that we are at the pinnacle of our evolution. <laughs> I think we're just beginning to rediscover who we really are and how powerful our abilities as humans really are, how our uh, communication with, with the divine, with nature, with animals, all of that is just beginning to resurface for us. And so if we come in now as a species and cut that cord completely and basically infuse ourselves with technology, that journey is over. That human journey is irreversibly over. And so most people don't understand that it's happening, unfortunately, because it's not being talked about in the public realm. There's not really a discussion going on. There's just the newest gadget that you get, the newest phone, and now the newest watch, and soon the newest implant. And whether people want to do it or not, you know, it is freedom. People can, of course, do that. But I don't believe that we have, we're having a moral, philosophical, and even evolutionary discussion about this. And this is what bothers me that, especially young people that have been literally born into this, they don't know anything else. They don't know what it was like to look up stuff in a book or wait till you could look up something or think about something. Whenever there's a question, they type it in the phone and that's the only way. And um, it's, it's one of our focal points to talk about this and bring an awareness to this topic. It's already here, all the things that people are looking to do with technology, they're already yeah. here. And I wanna ask everyone who doubts that a simple question, where do these ideas come from? How do we come up with the idea that we want to television, telephone, the transportation of information, instant information, internet, where do those ideas come from? We need to ask ourselves, how do we imagine things? Where does our imagination come from? And understand that what we're doing with technology, and ironically, we're using technology to transport this message. This is not lost on me. I'm not saying I'm there, you're there, we're there. I'm saying we need to give ourselves the chance to discover our true potential and that we actually have these abilities. And you know, if, if I go into a deep meditation, on more than one occasion, I was able to communicate with others that were in deep meditation that were on the other side of the earth, which means that distance means nothing when it, when these things you know come into play. And um, as I said, if we now cut this cord and and don't explore this and don't revive these abilities we'll make an irreversible choice as a species. And I think it's its not just dangerous, it's more than that. I think it's actually the end of, of another civilization as we've seen so many times in the past.